again guys welcome back and it's only been a couple of days but i just finished another new anime and it's currently streaming on crunchyroll or on youtube and the title is the life of an ordinary wait let me get that straight life with an ordinary guy gets reincarnated into a total knockout or you know something along those lines because it's quite a very long title anyway i'll be posting the title here on this flash it on the screen so that you'll get the whole title clearly of course okay so let's go ahead and you know go straight into the plot so the story is about two best friends two guy best friends they went out drinking one night and one of them got drunk so this guy right here is tachibana and then he's the one of the main characters in the story and you know when he's drunk he wish that he could have been a girl instead because all his life um all the girls that he like is rejected or gets he gets rejected by them because they are infatuated with his best friend jinguji instead so um the girls like him because he's very tall athletic and very um smart and reliable so that's why most of the girls from the preschool up to middle school, junior high and high school, college, and even now that they know they're already 30 something, like the girl, he's still popular with the girls. So that's why his best friend Tachibana wished that, you know, I wish I could have been a girl instead because, you know, he's not lucky with his love life. And then a goddess comes out and grants him that wish and reincarnates him into another world so that he would need to defeat the demon king you know as all this isekai anime goes right but the twist is junguji gets teleported or transported to the other world with him as well so the goddess informs them that hey you have to save this world by defeating the demon king and both of them you know were so confused and that they didn't agree to it so the goddess said that she would put a curse on them but she didn't really actually put a curse on them in reality. But what, you know, they beca became attracted to each other, even though that they know that, you know, that um, they are both guys. That's the, like, the main funny or comedy part of the story. I mean, um, I'm rushing because my three minutes are almost up. And I think that this deserves a part two because I want to talk more about this anime. So I'll see you in part two. Bye bye again guys welcome back to part two of this review now i want to talk more about this because i think it deserves so much more um the theme may you know like sound gay to you but actually um please don't be homophobic because it's actually a really good anime it's very funny and you know there are a lot of like uh, unexpected scenes or lines that you will um surprise you at first you will get taken aback by the whole like the whole plot of the story but trust me if you watch it like i did you'll learn to love it because i really really recommend it to you because it's really funny and entertaining okay so let's go back to the like the main story so imagine yourself you know like you're you got reincarnated into a girl's body but you know you you are you know that you're still a man deep inside um, actually a 32 year old man if i'm not mistaken so that's that is what happened to tachibana and so he gets reincarnated into this cute blondie here in the picture there as you can see and his best friend who isn't really interested in girls not because he's gay it's just because that he doesn't he you know um he doesn't like the attitudes of the girls that in his life that he has met yet um, and probably because he doesn't know or has met his ideal type just yet so this guy you know who isn't who hates girls suddenly feels attraction to his best friend who is super cute by the way and Tachibana who turns into a girl finds his best friend to be very charming and you know um dependable as a as a guy because when he became a girl he became like weak you know like how usually 
um girls are soft and and um weak and he has to depend on his best friend for everything and because of his personality like he's really kind-hearted and um he's such a softy actually it, the anime also tackles like flashbacks when they met in preschool and how you know the life were together because they've been best friends for like 20 plus years all their life so it takes the concept of falling in love with your best friend to a whole new different level but you'll definitely like like this it's sort of like boys love at the same time like um lgbt but it's actually not like that it's something different because in the